Chris yeah. Miller. Welcome, Chris Miller, to Hype for One Sessiment. Legacy shift as well. Strategies give a talk about creating income you'll never outlive. Welcome, Chris Miller. Thank you, Jason. I am so honored to be here and excited to share 30 years. It seems kind of crazy to say that, but I've had a lot, a lot of experience in 30 years. And you know what? No, not one person is ever the same. So it's been a really beautiful experience. And, you know, to kind of cap it off, because that's a lot of information to download in, in this time. But, you know, I really saw a pattern in 30 years, like the first 10 years was back in the 90s, 91, 92, everybody was doing great, right? Because the interest rates were higher. And so people were literally living off the interest in their money in the bank. Can you believe it? 11, 12%. Then the crash came in the late 90s. And then I saw this shift, but you know, it took me 25 years to actually see the pattern. And that's what I, you know, I put in my in my book. If you can see the book, you see it on there. Ready for pre-retirement. Three secrets for safe money in a fabulous future. It's not secret, it's just not talked about. So that's what we're gonna do today is talk about those things that no matter how great of an estate you have. I found the majority of the people that I talked to are missing these things. I had a client, he had $44 million in real estate, but you know what? He didn't have a living trust. He didn't have any money safe. It was really pretty crazy. So, and it's not boohoo on people. It's just people don't know what they don't know. So now in the end, I'll explain this to you, but I'm going to offer everybody that's on this event, and I want you to put Jason's name when you reach out to me so I know where you came from, but I'm going to offer a complimentary financial fitness strategy session to empower you around what we're talking about. And really what that's going to do is take everything that I'm talking about and how does that relate to you? So, you know, we'll hop on a, a quick call and ask your age, your health, your wealth, and then I'll actually present strategies to you. We'll hop on the phone again, and it's all virtual for the busy CEOs. And, and I'll be able to share that information with you virtually, send it to you, give you everything. By the way, there's no charge for it because I really believe in what I'm doing. Then we'll be able to ask questions and go from there. But I'll, I'll explain that more. I just wanted to tell you in the beginning because you know, I want you to be able to grab that, right? And make sure you connect with me. We'll have that in the, in the chat, you know, my, all my contact information. You know, I didn't really realize all the blessings that I had till later on in life when I saw all the different ways that people were planning and, and the majority of the people would end up losing their money in risk. The main thing is that people don't plan so you go to school, you learn how to make money, you get out of school, and what do you do? You make money. And what do most people do is they give their money to somebody else. So they really don't understand what's happening with their money. And what most people do when you give it to them is gamble it. That's right. You heard me right. Because it putting your money in market risk is like a roulette wheel. So back to my 30 years of experience, year two. The next decade, uh, you know, 20 year decade, I saw the crash, right? In year 2000, 2008, and people would be coming to retirement. It's like a roulette wheel. Will it be up or down when you retire, right? And that session was very sad to see 70, 80, 90 year old people coming in, losing their pensions, their 401ks, and they're not going back to work. So what it did to me, and when I lost money, I realized, you know what? I have not been taught safe money strategies, taught the generic thing that everybody's taught, taught. And honestly, I could not look you in the eye and say, oh, you need to buy this stock, but I don't want it. I'm just not like that. I own what I sell and I'm all in safe money. So I can proudly say with 6,000 clients, I stopped counting about five years ago. No one on my watch has ever lost one dime in any market risk. So the questions you want to ask yourself, and I'm going to cause you to think about this, take notes. Um, I'll be giving uh, Jason a little bonus thing that he can add on later of a little checklist so you kind of know what to do and where to go, things that will help you. 
take time out of your life to learn these things because all you're doing is spending your time making money you need to spend an hour a week to look at your financial future and plan ahead okay so the questions you want to ask yourself well what, what's going to happen and we're at the top of the market don't joke yourself you can't print seven nine trillion dollars with no gold backing and it not expect inflation and crash and lots of problems. So this is what we got to pay attention to. Is your money safe? Are you paying unnecessary taxes? Are you paying state, federal, and are your assets going to be protected if you need long-term care? So the question is, do you want to protect your state from losses, taxes? Now it's, it's affirmation. You need to say yes. And I don't mean just say yes and and put it in the chat box. I want affirmation. I want participation. When you participate, it does something in your brain with your NLP. It connects you to action. So you say yes, then that'll at least set you in the right direction to taking action for yourself. Now, we're all trying to swim across the other side of the swimming pool. And there's all these alligators, lots of alligators lately. Have you noticed all kinds of hidden things that are coming up that aren't in the mainstream way of thinking. There's things that you need to be aware of to take time to research your own health, your own wealth, your plans, and setting up your businesses. So, you know, uh, we're being watched. Now, the point is that we're being watched is that there's dangers that you're not aware of because you don't know what you don't know. So when you're 20, you don't think about what it's like when you're 40. And when you're 40, you sure don't think about what, well, what it's be like when I'm 60, right? And that's really how it works. Our brains aren't set up that way. Because I have longevity, I've got all those ages covered. And I really did find that I really didn't get it when I was 30, what it would be like at 40. And now I do. So that way I can be able to share it with you and let you know you don't need to go down that road and end up working your whole life and then losing your 401k and market risk or taxes. And that's the first alligator, right? Wall Street. It's very illusionary because if you're just watching the Dow going up and down and you think, oh, everything is fine, you're not going to really see the big picture. The big picture is your 401k, your IRA are all invested. Now you take a look at what you have. Risk. You, and that, the concept is you've got to risk your money to make money. That is not necessarily so. And I can attest to it because I have what I've owned now for 25 years, I made money in a crash. That's right. So it's very illusionary. The bulls, the bears, is, we're at the top of the market in the crash. What I talk about in my book are things that have been around since the Middle Ages. Nothing new here. These are foundational things that will weather the storm. Very important to make sure your money is safe and never lose a dime in this risky stock market. How are you going to do that? Well, that's what we're going to talk about. Now, back in my daddy's day, you know, he did really well in the stock market and it was a different kind of stock market. He was born in 1919. Different kind of stock market, right? A hundred years later, this is a different world. This is a global economy now, and that's where it's headed. So I want you to look at it from this point of view. It is like a casino. You got to realize, you know, and a lot of people like the, you know, the adrenaline when they, when they gamble. If you like that, that's great. But I want you to take a certain portion of your money and get it safe. You know what? Especially right now, because we are in those 9-9-9-1-1 days. So it's not really how much you earn. It's how much you keep. And you know what? What do you think the next time? Oh, I gave that answer away. What do you think the next alligator is going to be? You got it. Taxes. Pay attention. All of these new policies that they're trying to put in are raising taxes at humongous rates. There's so many taxes buried inside of the taxes upon the taxes that you're barely going to be making what you think you're making when you figure out your taxes. And there's so many different levels of that that I want you to look at 
and, and we'll talk about a few of these. And I'm going to talk about some taxes too in your future so that if you're planning now and you're in, in your younger ages, you can mitigate these challenges by taking right action now. You know, if I knew back then what I know now, I would have planned differently. I didn't learn till later in life. And because the main things that we were being taught were all risk. And I could not do that with integrity. So I want you to look at these taxes. Now, here you are, you're working so hard and you're putting all your money in your IRA, your 401k. And, and now look at where your 401k is. I bet you 90% of it is in risk unless you're paying attention. So what's going to happen when you retire? You, and how are they going to figure out your social security? Guess what? They tax your social security. That's right. If you make over a certain amount of money, they're going to tax like $1 for every three. So when people plan their retirement, say, oh, I'm getting, you know, this much money for taxes, you're not really getting that much money for taxes. And so you got to think about that. And, and it's sort of like mind mapping it so you can see all the sources of income that you can have. You got to have a few profit centers going on. Don't rely on Social Security. Don't rely on one or two things. And we'll talk more about that in our three-legged stool. Then we have capital gains tax. They're about to tax the tax on that then that in itself is humongous, even if the laws don't change. Then we have taxes on interest income, taxes upon death. And by the time you're through, you're gonna be clobbered with taxes. Now, how do they figure out your social security tax? Now look at these numbers. I'm sure they're gonna change a few more times by the time you get there. But if you're married and you make 32,000 or you're single, you make 25, if it exceeds that amount, they're going to use 50% in the calculation for your taxes. That's a lot. And then if it exceeds 44, you're married or 34, you're single, they're going to calculate. Doesn't mean they take 85%, just means they're going to take money from your social security. So you, if you're going to work past your retirement age, how many of you are going to work past your retirement age? I am. I'm going to work to 120 because I love what I do. I love connecting with people and helping people. Maybe you're not, but a lot of people in their second life are going into give back modes, which I'm doing. I'm creating a, a legacy shifters and a shifting legacies where we'll be able to help kids and, and all kinds of different people with this kind of programs that won't be able to afford it. So we're, we have give back programs. A lot of people want to do charitable things in the second part of their life. So that's why you want to make sure that you have plenty of income. Now, guess what? These, they're changing the laws on the capital gains too. So you're going to be taxed and you're already being taxed on your capital gains, on your real estate, right? Are you real estate flippers, your stocks? It's going to be taking lots of taxes from it. So take this, te take this test and just look at your last 1040 form. And, and that'll show you, are you being taxed on your interest, dividend and tax exempt income? Just look at box 8A, 8B, and 9. Write that down and you'll see that you're being taxed on things that if you knew how to position things, you wouldn't have to be. And that's what I talked to you about. Those are the kinds of things I talked to you about. Then we have a state tax. And I'll bet you right now it's 11.23 or something per person, but they're already talking it to lowering it back to a million per person. And really a million dollars is not a lot of money these days, especially with inflation. That's what, that's what we're talking about. But that estate tax can really wipe out people's estates. It's so sad, and, but not totally, because there's some good ways that you can avoid the estate tax. You can avoid estate tax on capital gains, on real estate. There's charitable gift annuities. There's life insurance. There's some creative things that you can do that will allow you to irrevocable trust to avoid those kinds of taxes. And this is what you want to learn about. Now, I'm trying to make this simple. This is real simple on the taxes. You know, you have these are different ways you know you're getting taxed right or not taxed now that we have what's called a traditional tax deferred annuity annuity is like a savings account with an insurance company not one person lost one dollar in an annuity in the great depression they're safe 
So you never lose your principal. Now, you're not going to get any federal, state, social security tax. You get triple exemption. That means it grows three times as fast. Interest rates on those products last 10 years, five to nine percent. You heard me right, five to nine percent. It's tax deferred. You'll pay the taxes when you take it out. And those you can create income or just savings accounts. Then we have muni bonds. Ugh. Back, you know, 30 years ago when I first started, a lot of my retirees were, you know, living off their muni bonds. But back then we didn't have bankrupt cities. So Los Angeles or whatever, you know, city you're near to weren't bankrupt. I would not invest in a muni bond plus they don't even keep up with inflation and then we have what's called index universal life whole life uh, life insurance that totally avoids taxes on all levels and guess what i'm really excited to tell you about tax-free income you could actually set up what's called investable life insurance using the death benefit to pay your taxes for income for life we'll come back to that and series e bonds i wouldn't even touch it doesn't even come up come near inflation now you know what i think it was friday a 10-year bond was something like 1.3 you have to have a bond to hold it for 10 years for 1.3 Ooh, whippy so how important is tax deferral? You're getting interest on your principal, interest on your interest, and interest on the money you would have paid in taxes. That means it grows three times as fast. Who's this guy? Well, I don't know how many boomers you get on this show, Jason, but we know, right? Rolling Stones, Keith Richards. Now you can bet he has an annuity right now in his 70s. God bless him. He's still performing, which is cool. But you can defer aging, but you can defer taxes. And what it does is it gives you peace of mind. So this is how you want to look at your assets, because you want to make sure they're safe. They're liquid. You can get at them whenever you want. There's tax advantages, no probate, good returns without a risk, and your money is protected from nursing homes. Now, that's a that's a big one that's come up because of the, the Corona China viruses and all these pandemic things that are going around, right? These are things that we need to think about. So we have peace of mind in our second, third, fourth quarter life, very important. Now, the annuity, I was telling you a little bit about that. And this is what I first learned about when I lost money, I hated losing money. So I did a deep dive, nobody told me about it. But what I learned was that these annuities have been around since the Middle Ages, I talk about them in my book, only the kings and queens used them back then. And they were ways to be able to distribute money over a long period of time. Annuities are insurance products. And an insurance companies, where the money that they have, they have to have insurance on themselves, they have to be reinsured. So every $100 you have with an insurance company, they have 125 to 135 to your 100. Every hundred dollars you have in the bank, eh, they might have 75 cents, dollar fifty to your hundred. That's right. They're the first to go. What do they do with our money? Same thing they did in 2008, loan it out on real estate. So these are very cool tools. Now, I'm not a one size fit all kind of person. When we do a financial fitness strategy session, I want your money to be healthy. I want it to have longevity. You want to know where to plant this thing so there aren't any gophers eating the roots and all of a sudden you have no fruit, right? You want to make sure it's safe. So do you want less taxes, right? More money? Raise your hand, say yes. You want to be a, a, you know, proactive, active, active in this and take action and learn about this stuff. It's really worth it because you're going to get interest on your principal, interest on your interest, and interest on the money you would have paid in taxes. So it grows, again, three times as fast. I'll tell you, I got to be straight up with you, because I always am. I didn't learn about this till I was 58. I was so mad. So that's why I'm kind of on a mission to get to a lot of younger people. Even if you don't have a lot of money, this is a very cool way to get this thing. Now, you got to have health for it. 
that, you know, you can't have, be terminal. It's life insurance. So it's underwritten. But this is where I'm going to, I'm going to teach you this now so that you can learn a lot more about it and be empowered by it. But here's the PhD about money. So you don't have to do 30 years of classes like I've done, right? Or experience. Two places your money's going to be when you retire. That's the life without work. It's going to be either taxable or tax free. So basically, everything that you own is taxable at capital gains, your stocks, your mutual funds, selling your business, real estate, taxed. What about your IRA? Guess what? It's taxed too at ordinary income, right? 40% or up or whatever it's going to be after all they change all the laws again, right? So then there's tax free. Now, Muni bonds, I like I already told you about muni bonds, not interested in putting my money in bankrupt cities that are, you know, not there. Roth IRAs, those are great, but they're limited and they're risky. Why? Well, the limit is if you if you make a hundred thousand as an individual, that's the cap. So if you make lower than that, you can do a Roth IRA. Or if you make 160,000 as a family, that's the cap. If you make over that, you can't do a Roth IRA. But here's the trick. Where's the Roth IRA located? In the market, in Las Vegas. That's right, in risk. So great, you're saving taxes, but your money is like this. So will it be up or down when you retire? That's why I'm a big fan of what's called investable life insurance. So I'm going to share with you one of the quote secrets that nobody's talked about. Why don't they talk about this? Straight up, not big money for brokers. I could make a lot more money selling you stock, but I could not look you in the eyes and say, I own this. Because I'd be saying, I don't want it. I don't want risk. I don't want to lose money. Now, if you don't care about that, that's great. But if you want to know your money's there, then listen really close. And I'm going to share what I think is the coolest thing on the planet. It's the bomb, your tax bomb on your 401ks and IRAs. And this is what people don't think about. When you retire, you're going to be retiring at ordinary income. So there's your IRA to say for numbers wise, you have $100,000 to say. And now say you're in the 30 or 40% tax bracket. Well, you really only have 60,000 or 70,000 to invest. So it's not worth as much as you think. So when you withdraw your retirement income from an IRA, you'll owe the taxes at ordinary income. But wait, yes, there's a solution. It's called the IRA reboot. And it allows you to convert your IRA into a tax-free vehicle with no out-of-pocket costs. What? You heard me. No out-of-pocket costs. So the real value of your account could be 20 to 40 percent less than you expect. So you're, like I said, your million or your hundred thousand is going to be 600,000 or seven, right? You can add or subtract numbers. But this is the really cool thing with an IRA reboot. So what an IRA reboot is, is using Index Universal Life. They blow up the death benefit and they have a provision on there called accelerated death benefits that lets you take money from the death benefit while you are alive to pay your taxes. You heard me right. So instead of you taking the 30, 40,000 from your 100,000, right? You're going to take it from the death benefit, which means your million or your hundred thousand is in there growing. You didn't have to pay the taxes from that money, which means a hundred percent of the money is in there growing tax free. And then you contribute this money over three to five, 10 years. It really depends on your, on your age and your health. And, and I set up illustrations for you when we hop on the phone for our fitness money fitness talk because it's customized to you and this allows you to contribute each year we take the money out of the death benefit to pay the taxes and then this funds the policy so you if you're really smart this is why i wished i would have known about it younger i could have i could have targeted my retirement in my 50s 
if I wanted to. If you know how to do these things. I started mine at 64. I'm proud of my age because I'm really not my age. Health is wealth, right? I was talking with Jason. Look at him, right? So, but the point is that I literally was able to do this. Now at older ages, you got to put a lot more in, right? Because you have less to tax deferral. I had a kid, he was 38. He only put $500 in a month and he was going to get 87 to 100,000 tax-free a year for life. That's right, with only 500,000. And it has catastrophic illness in it. So if God forbid you get a big C like a cancer or Corona or something happens to you and you need care, this allows you to take 2% of the death benefit for catastrophic illness. That's right. And guess what else it's got? If the market crashes, which is headed to, and we have zero interest rates, no market, you know, going anywhere. These things have a base for of 2%. That's right. This would make 2% in a crash. But over the last 30 years, it's performed at 5 to 9%. So when you take the money out, this money is coming out tax-free. That's right. Your income is tax-free, which lowers what you're paying for taxes, which means you can take more of your social security. It's such a cool thing when you can learn how to strategize and manage different streams of income to get the most money out of the money that you have. So you're going to reduce your taxation a third to a half during this conversion. You're going to get tax-free guaranteed retirement income, tax-free tax-free long-term care and tax-free wealth transfer. So if something happens to you, there's a death benefit. That's right. It goes to your family, but we're not concerned so much about the death benefit. We're talking about living benefits. And this is what I'm showing all my clients how to do. And I have a lot of successful clients that have done this, myself included, and I'm pretty proud of it because it works. It's worked for a long time. And I use A plus A companies. The company I'm using right now for this is number one A plus company in the country. They've been around for 152 years. You think they've been through a few crashes? They know how to handle billions of dollars and mitigate long terms of money and low interest rate and high taxes and, and the world that we're in. So it's, you know, it's really, really important that you know these kinds of things. I think catastrophic illness has really come to view in this last couple of years. It came into my life about 11 years ago when my mommy got cancer. Thank God it, you know, she empowered me because I'd probably be crying every time I tell the story because it's a very hard story. It's the nightmare of my business, honestly. But she came up to me and said, honey, I want you to share this with your clients. And she kind of leaned into me and mom, she had tears in her eyes and mom, what, what? And I looked at the paper and I started to get tears in my eyes and, and it was a bill for five days of chemo. Guess how much it was? $90,000, five days of chemo. That was 11 years ago. This is 2021 right now, 11 years ago. That was five days, she had chemo five days every month for a year. Now, a few years before that, I'd offer catastrophic protection for my family, but my dad was very adamant. He goes from the generation that thought Medicare would cover catastrophic illness. That's what he was taught. So he didn't get it, which means he paid out of his pocket. Thank God my daddy was very successful. I'm really proud of him. He went to school. Einstein was one of his teachers. He went to Caltech and he was a genius, brilliant, and um, had a few classes with, with Einstein. He was very smart. He did well back in the days of the market and his business. And he had multi millions of dollars. So he was able to pay these things. But what I found out was this million dollars just wasn't the chemo. There's drugs, therapies, but guess what? In our family, we don't want to put our family in 
a nursing home. So we learn how, and this is how a lot of my high-end clients do it, the top of 1%, create your home as the nursing home, right? You put the rails and the ramps. And don't think this is something that is something that's for age 90 or 100. This is happening to a lot of people at younger ages because of the medical challenge that we're in right now. So you need to know about this and be aware of it and be safe. Set yourself up for success. Catastrophic illness, and this is what I saw, have seen in my 30 years of practice, is one of the three things that wipe people out in the end of their life. The three things, like I said in my book, Three Secrets for the Safe Money in the Fabulous Future, and I say ready for pre-retirement, plan retirement early, and don't feel bad if you're already retired and you're hearing me. I work with people all the way up to 90, okay? So it's never too late. We just didn't know what we didn't know. So we're living longer than we did before. You know, there's all kinds of crazy variants and different diseases that are coming. And we've had, this was back before the pandemic, seven out of 10 seniors ended up in a nursing home. I think it's nine out of 10 people will end up there with the, these catastrophic challenges that we have. That's why it's so important that you have this in your estate plan. Because the three things that people lose their money in, in the end of their life is catastrophic illness, nursing homes, probate, and the stock market. Those are the three things that are variable, which wipe people out. Two thirds of people will become penniless within one year staying in a nursing home. Medicare doesn't cover it. They only cover basically people that are comatose or, or have a stroke. And one in five, get this, under 50 is at risk of needing long-term care, catastrophic illness. So we were blessed. But the problem was during my mom's chemo, we had to get care. Guess how much 11 years ago care cost? $15,000 a month. Do the math. A lot of people think, well, I have a million dollars. I can just pay for it. A million dollars is not a lot. If you figure you're paying 90000 for five days of chemo a year, a million dollars is not a lot. Do the math, right? That's just that one drug. Doesn't include therapies, care, et cetera. So don't self-insure with your money. Be smart. Learn what I'm talking about. Make sure that you have a program that's going to cover everything. And I'm a big fan of the tax-free way to do it. Expect the unexpected, right? I write music too. And that's one of the songs that I have about, you know, three out of a hundred will have a fire in your home, right? I live in California, right? Lots of fires going on. Everybody here has fire insurance. 18 out of a hundred are going to have auto. Now it's a law, got to have auto insurance, at least in California, right? What about long-term care? Seven out of 10 of us are going to have catastrophic illness. How many of you are covered? And when I do these live events, and I do a lot of live events, you can always invite me to your groups or webinars, I'm doing a lot of virtual. Most people, there'll only be about 2% of people will raise their hand in the audience. Why? Their employer maybe will take care of it, but most people don't even think about it. It's not even in the plan. How are you going to pay for it? Do you buy long-term care insurance? And I'm not a big fan of the standalone, like it's like auto insurance where you pay a premium every month for something you may never use. It builds no cash value. I'm a big fan of the life insurance long-term care where you're paying a little premium and it creates cash. So if you don't use it for long-term care, you can use it for your family or cash while you're alive. So there's some other creative strategies that you can do. And like I told you, if you pay out of your pocket, the cost of the nursing home is going way up. Now, these are old numbers, but $170 per $1,000 a day is a nursing home. And home care is going to go anywhere from $250 to $350 to 500 a day, depending on what zip code you're on. Now, my mommy had cancer for 10 years and the doctor said she'd only live a one. And she, you know, lots of prayers and she 
kind of changed her diet a little bit, you know, and, but her will to live, she went 10 years, God bless her. And my daddy had made the plan that he was going to outlive my mom, but he ended up outliving the plan, the mom. And it was 91. He was still working really in good shape, but he fell and then he needed help. And so we had to get a caregiver. And it's not a very fun thing when you have to deal with your parents and you don't really want to invade their privacy and find out that maybe they don't have enough money to take care of. So it's a challenge. I found care for my dad, but check this out. I did a Craigslist for FBI fingerprint, CNA, you know, help. And I found beautiful ladies from, from Tonga, great big ladies that could lift my dad up. Well, that was $70,000 a year. That was 11, that was in 2006, okay? It's very expensive. You wanna make sure that you have this covered. Make sure your assets are protected. You have automobile, homeowners insurance, health. You are your most valuable asset. So take care of yourself. It's really a gift, not only for you to be comfortable at whatever age you might need it, but it's also release stress from your family. And you want to make sure that it's comprehensive. It covers everything. So I'm telling you, there's some ideal ways that you can cover all these things. And I know I'm downloading a lot to you. Make sure that you set an appointment and you check the in that comment section. There'll be a little link. You could go in my calendar, you know, set up an appointment or just call the office, set up an appointment. And I do virtual with people all over the country. So if you want to learn about making sure your, your investments are safe, you never lose a dime in any market risk, all of those things, no sales charges. And guess what? I am not a fee-based broker, so you don't pay to talk to me. That's right. All right. So we're on the home stretch, you guys. Now, this is a really big one. Everybody needs a living trust. When I first started, I was working with an attorney. I was in a paralegal. I'm now an LDA. It's kind of one step up from a paralegal. I'm a, a legal document assistant. I'm licensed to prepare documents. I have a picture ID with a bar, but I'm not an attorney. I don't give legal advice. I don't talk in court. I do talk in court when I sue attorneys, I actually sue two and one when they tried to steal my business. But that's another, that's another broadcast. This is about you not going to court. This is about you avoiding probate. So when I was sitting there with this attorney, there was a widow and all she had was a house and a car. She didn't have any money. This is 1991, 92. And he charged $5,000 for a trust back, you know, that long ago, 30 years ago. And I said to him, hey, can you give her a deal? She doesn't have any money. He looked at me so cold, like, no. Like, whoa, I'm out of here. I didn't like that. It wasn't heartful. And I decided, you know what? I am going to give these trusts very affordable to people. And I broke the market. I'm not bragging, but I was one of the first people in Southern California to do workshops on what's the difference between a will and a living trust. And back then people thought, oh, only attorneys can make living trusts. Living trusts have been around since the Middle Ages. That's right. Another thing, one, another secret that I talk about in the book. It's not secret. Nobody talked about it. Why? Probate's big business. That's why it wasn't talked about. But a living trust avoids probate. And because I ended up doing so many workshops and a lot of paralegals went independent, they created a designation for people like me to help people create their documents. And again, as I told you earlier, I've created over 6,000 living trusts never had one problem. We've tested them out, right? They work. What happens after your death? Fortunately, there's strategies. So an estate is simply all the wealth you've accumulated. Now, living trust just is not an end of the life document. I want to put this in in the beginning. Those of you that have minor children, mom and dad go out to dinner and don't come back. Who's going to take care of the kids? You know, you're 20, 30, 40. You don't think about that. You kind of think you have all this longevity. 
You need to have a guardianship. You need to think like that, especially in this 911 world we're in, okay? Be aware of that. So your living trust is going to create all your estate. So the answer is there's they ended up not being smart. And they ended up in probate. They had a will. And so that had to go to probate, which is courts would take attorneys, which take, I can hear you now, money, five to 25% of the estate. If it's contested, you may end up with a third of the estate. And I have living proof of that. It's a living nightmare. You don't want to go there. The time, the cost, it's public record. Now, these the state tax laws are going to change. So I think they'll probably change the laws in the next couple of years on it back to a million. So you want to be aware if you have over a million dollars, you want to do these other plans that avoid the estate tax. Now, three basic distribution techniques. One, do nothing. That's the Dell way. That's called in dying in test state. You die in test state and you end up in probate. And you'll be a victim of what the court's going to tell you what to do in your state. You might have some sibling handling your estate that you don't like, and your money may not go to that charity, may go to that sibling. So you want to make sure you stay out of probate, and pay all those fees. Then I have married couples who think, oh, we have joint tenancy. If something happens to you know my wife or my husband or whatever, it'll go to me. Well, sorry, it will go to you, but you lose your stepped up tax basis. What's that? My husband and I, we're smart. We have a living trust. He goes to heaven beyond before I do. Guess what? I want to sell the house a year later. I get a stepped up tax basis. That's right. They're going to figure out my capital gains on one year, not 40 years since I've had the house. That is a huge tax savings. So this is, has a lot of benefits. It's not just end of the life. And it avoids all kinds of joint tenancy issues, credit or claims. A lot of people go to the bank and the bank says, oh, put your kids on your bank account. That's called giving legal advice. Wrong. Don't do that. If your son or daughter gets sued, get an automobile accident, gets divorced, they can attach your money. Makes you vulnerable to creditors. Not a good way. Now, the will, that's what most people think of. And a will is simply a list of instructions that tell the judge, right, goes to probate, what you want. And then they have to verify it's you. And you're paying all this, you know, $15,000 retainer for an attorney just to start. You'd be vulnerable to all the fees and taxes that are slammed on you in probate and you guarantee a trip through probate. Now, I want to throw this in because a lot of people get married, especially in my generation, you get married, get divorced. Living trust act as a prenuptial agreement. So you build an estate, maybe you get divorced and you, or maybe you just have a good estate and you want to, you know, keep it to your family. You could create a living trust and it acts as a prenuptial agreement if you don't put that spouse on there and then create another trust with the, the estate that you're building with that spouse. Very cool strategies. Okay, what's a living trust? A living trust is a legal entity that's created to own, manage, and distribute your assets in accordance with your estate. That's right. It avoids probate, avoids courts, avoids attorneys, and it minimizes the fees and taxes that are avoid that are put on your, your estate when you go through probate. They also have another benefit. And I bet you don't know this, but two-thirds of all the matters that go through probate are conservatorship. So if you become incapacitated and you don't have a power of attorney and that doesn't, that's any age, find you, the state will appoint somebody to you. You don't want a state appointed caregiver, power of attorney. You want your family or your friends or people that love you to be there. Living trusts have conservator benefits built into them. Now, living trust, you can maintain full control over all the assets you place in the trust. Sounds cool, doesn't it? So how do living trusts work? When you set up a living trust, you're going to simply transfer the title of all the assets you wish to place in the trust from you as an individual to you yourself as the name of the trust. And that avoids probate because the language 
and the trust is set up to avoid the courts. And it's a very cool thing. People ask me, well, how come nobody knows about this? Just like how come people don't know about a lot of things right now? Information is withheld and it's about money. There's more money in probate. And, and really, I literally had to fight a lot of information for decades around living trust. They've been around since the middle, middle ages. Most people just thought wills are common knowledge. So it took decades to get this as common knowledge. And a lot of the states are just kind of waking up to this. And but it's really, really important. So let me show you how this works now. We'll just take a case study, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. They have a, an estate and they have two kids. They're married. They have 200,000. By using the living trust, it's going to allow them to save an estimated thirty to $50,000 in probate fees. You heard me right, with 200000 And the assets will go directly to their kids without me, without an attorney, without probate. It's so wonderful. All that happens when you go to heaven, which I hope you all do, you're going to get the trust and the death certificate, and they go to wherever you have your assets, and then they distribute it. It's that simple. Really, is a beautiful thing. Now, I'm not really going to go into a whole lot about AB trust and marital trust, but there's some creative ways, irrevocable trusts. If you have high-end estates, Individually, I talk to you and I customize everything that I've been telling you about here for the last 46 minutes. Really, I got to be able to customize this for you. And it's never a one size fits all. You know, I'm trying to create a plan that is for you, not what makes the best, best commission. And you know what? I have one price for my trust and I make that the same for everybody. And it, and it's, our trust is a package that includes a revocable living trust, a power of attorney for financial, a power of attorney for health, a pour over will, a living will, one deed, after death instructions, special instructions. We give it away for 1200. We make them for banks. We make them for attorneys and we make them for businesses and a whole lot of families. And like I said, we get referred and thank God for referrals. Can I have an Armageddon business? Everybody needs these things. I don't care what level you're at. You want to make sure you pay attention to this. Make sure, even if you don't have monies, that you have the health care. So now Mr. Goodman, he's a widower and he has no children. His estate is worth $350,000. He's going to set his estate up to some children of some lifelong friends. And it's really cool because it's going to save him forty-five to 60000 or more in probate fees. So all the estate, all his hard-earned assets go to his friend's family. Now, the friend's children, he can set this up. And I've had a lot of issues with maybe kids in people's family are on drugs or alcoholic or they don't like the, who they're married to. You know, you could actually set this up to have it work, you know, when you're after the grave. So he set this up that they would not get their money unless they went to school. And he had all kinds of provisions on it. Here's a cool story. Bing Crosby, right? Remember Bing Crosby? Maybe a lot of you guys don't remember, but, you know, back in the 30s and 40s, he was a real famous and he had movie star, got a trust. He set his trust up that it was not going to be distributed to age 65. Why? Well, he had multi-millions. He wanted to make sure... His family did something charitable for the world. Write a book, give something to charity before they would get their inheritance, like just not live off of, you know, the money. Do something good for people. So that's kind of a cool story. But Mr. Goodman's kind of doing the same thing. He controls all of his assets before and after the grave, avoids conservatorship, guardianship, probate, and he can control the distribution of his estate. Now, a few other estate planning strategies that our trust includes are living wills. This is important. You want to make sure that your wishes are important. Now, I'm into, you know, health is wealth and vegan and take care of myself and, you know, and, you know, peace on earth, no killing, all that. But I want my own wishes. Like I told uh, 
Jason, at the beginning, I had, a, I had a pituitary tumor and I opted off of drugs and surgery and I did prayers, fasting, cleanses. I have other videos about that. But the point about that is that I want my own wishes. So you want to make sure that your doctor has it ahead of time. You know, do you want chemo? Do you want a ventilator? Do you want these things? Get those on your health care. This is for people that don't even have money. Make sure you get one of these, okay? It's really important. It'll make your life better. Living wills are when they say you're terminal. I probably say four doctors. Then they, they don't put you on a, on a machine. Power of attorney for financial. Very important. Hey, I go skiing. I break my leg. I'm going to have someone take care of my finances if I'm not able to. Very important document for everybody. And then the power of attorney for health care. Now, we have a real elaborate one because it actually lists different treatments. And you can actually write, well, you know, do you want chemo? Well, do you want this or do you want that? And you can customize how you want your kind of treatment. Everybody's treatment should be honored. We're all individuals. We all have different ways that we do it. Make sure that your health care provider has a copy of it. You know, and our living trust includes all of that. Now, I said it was 1200 that's for one deed. This is the same trust. Attorneys charge $2,500 to $5,000, depending on what state you're in. I'm not a one-size-fits-all, but I don't like the model where they look at how much money you have, and then they're going to charge you more. I hate that. I want to you know, be fair with everybody. So that's the real deal there. You want to keep your money out of courts and make sure that it's not paying all the fees and taxes and contested in public record. And, you know, the biggest thing that goes through probate, like I said, two thirds is living probate. If you don't have all the paperwork that I just told you, you do end up in probate and end up in a mess. If your beneficiaries aren't set up right, you also end up maybe in some sort of a reburied nightmare. I'll tell you, I've had a few clients come in, second marriages, Wife sitting there, whoops, he forgot to take the first wife off the policy. And boy, did they butt heads right in front of me. You know, I found that a lot of my conversation is mindset. And I would say more like 75% is mindset, 25% is writing an application. That's why um, my business partner, Tia Ross, and I started Legacy Shifters. So we have programs in Legacy Shifters that we'll be coming back and broadcasting about where we built in mindset with money. And we have a meditative course where we get you empowered around your money so you can take action and do the right thing. Ugh. This guy, look, he's got blood on his teeth. Gross. Now they're okay for emergency funds. You don't have to go run, take everything out of there. But I've had clients that go in the bank and they say, oh, yes, I have $50,000. Where should I put it? You know, and they're, oh, we'll put it in this or that. But what if I go to a nursing home? Oh, well, you need to see a certified senior advisor like me, right? Or an elder state planning attorney. But we don't know. We can't give you advice. So that's pretty, that's not very smart. <laughs> right? To go to someone that doesn't know what's going on with your money. So it's okay for emergency money market kind of things, but they have no clue in any kind of planning device. Everything's automated and their interest rate, what, like 0.5 for a year or percent. You're paying taxes on money you're losing. The inflation is up in the fives now. It's crazy. Ugh. Can we bring that one back again? I know. This alligator, I got one too. Procrastination. I don't know where you put yours. Maybe it's under the bed. Maybe it's in your storage shed. <laughs> Maybe it's in the refrigerator. I don't know, but everybody wants to procrastinate. How about we retire rich, retire stress-free? That's the goal. Financial peace of mind. So you want to make sure that you're going to be able to do that. And get out of the uncomfortable zone of procrastinating. Now, where are we going to go from here? There's going to be a link in the chat. Hopefully, it's been there the whole time. You're going to say yes. Hop on the phone with me. It's like 15, 20 minutes. I just ask your age, your wealth, your health, your goals. Then I'm going to take all of those 30 years, and I'm going to go research something for you. And then we'll do a virtual call. And I will teach you virtually what I just did, how it relates to you. That takes half an hour. 
then I'm going to give it all to you. I'm going to email it to you. Then you can look at, I'll also send you a few things that I teach in a college class that will empower you. So you learn about your own money and ask me questions. And then we go from there. Guess what? There's no charge for that. I own what I sell. I believe in what I'm doing. And I know people need me right now. We're at the top of the market. You guys be ready, be safe. So do you want safe money? Yes. Put that yes in the, in the box, right? Chat it out. And also, if you have any questions in there, you can also email me the questions or, or Jason will get me questions. We'll hop on the phone. We'll just go through it. You say yes. The important thing is you want to protect your estate from losses, losses taxes, and long-term care. Hop on for the financial fitness strategy session so your money will last as long as you do. Because when you have health as wealth, you're going to have healthy money. And that healthy money does give you a happy life. Now, happiness is not just around money, but it reduces the worry and stress. And I want to make sure you realize we will be able to cover everything that we've been talking about today and anything else that you may have on your mind. You know, remember, it wasn't raining when Noah built the ark. We're kind of in that time. You can see different storm clouds kind of popping up. I'm not a gloom and doom person. I'm really positive, but I am aware we are in those times. We're in those times that I've been talking about for a long time. I always thought, you know, it's kind of down the road. And now I'm kind of hitting myself in the head going, whoa, it's later than I thought it was. That's what I'm saying. And I've been, I've been planning for this for three decades. I've been expecting this for that long. That's why I know about safe money. And like I said, I make trust for attorneys. I have a few, you know, thousands of people for referrals. You can go on my website. You can get my book there. Um, you can read all about me. I have a lot of, I'm a national speaker. You guys can come and invite me to your classes. You know, I got, I got invited to the U.S. Government Financial Officers Association. I got invited to the Grammys. I got to speak to the group there. And when I went to the government, this was really kind of funny. These guys are like the directors, very official, handling billions and trillions of dollars. And I said to them, well, you guys, you know, the IRS code book has 73,000 pages in it, right? And how many of you guys are ready for retirement? And nobody raised their hand. And I looked and I thought I was being funny. I said to the director, well, you're the government. He looked at me and I said, well, why? He said, we're busy taking care of other people's money. He was right. And that's what we're doing. We're busy taking care of working, our kids, our life and everything that's coming at us. So take a moment out of your life, sign up for a financial fitness strategy session, hop on with me, see how we can empower your estate. It's a really beautiful thing to know that your assets are protected. You know, you'll be able to call my office, set up a, you know, hop on, you know, set up a calendar email, email me anyway. I've got every way that you can contact me. You know, it's my joy to be able to, to, to be able to share all this. And I've been kind of going fast to dump everything as much as I could because I have so much to share. So we'll be able to customize this for you and be able to actually set your ship on the right course and map out your fabulous future so you won't have to worry about money. Imagine having income you'll never outlive. That is huge. AARP said 69% of people are more worried about running out of money, right? Than death. That's what they people are worried about. So imagine you taking that off your plate. You're not worried about running out of money, which gives you longevity because it gives you peace of mind, financial peace of mind. And again, I want to thank you all for joining me here today. Thank you, Jason, for this fabulous opportunity to talk to all your, your beautiful people listening. And I look forward to connecting with everybody. Thank you so much for being here today. God bless. Thank you so much, Chris. Great presentation from Chris Miller. You definitely want to get a free financial fitness strategy session with Chris. So go to Cali link, give her a call, book a time. Chris is great. Thank you so much, Chris, for speaking at the High Fluence Summit today.
Thank you, Jason.